In today's video, we're going to go over how Tesla CEO, the richest man in the world and internet icon Elon Musk has some strong words to say about Bitcoin. Musk has frequently been seen talking about crypto and its uses, mostly over Twitter, but it's not every day we get an explanation from him about why he does it to begin with. Let's take a deeper look. First off, the bold claim. Elon Musk, who we know today as a billionaire and the CEO of Tesla, thinks that Dogecoin's a superior cryptocurrency for transactions compared to the more popular crypto in the market, particularly Bitcoin. The head of Tesla and Space SpaceX claimed in a recent interview with Time magazine that Dogecoin is a far superior cryptocurrency in terms of daily transactions. According to him, decentralized finance tokens such as Bitcoin have very low transaction value and a high cost per transaction if anything. He went on to say that it's suitable as a value store, at least on a spatial level. But basically, Dogecoin's better suited for transactions rather than Bitcoin, even though it was first intended to be a complete meme coin with no real practical use. He said, Dogecoin has a considerably better potential for overall transaction flow than Bitcoin in terms of transactions per day. Software developers Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer are the developers behind the infamous Dogecoin and created it back in 2013 as a faster but still amusing Bitcoin substitute. Its name and emblem are taken from a Shiba Inu meme that went viral several years ago and led to the word Doge being thrown around a lot in the meme community. It was essentially meant to be a meme in the world of crypto too, essentially being a parody of the several fraudulent cryptocurrency currencies that had been circulating in the market at the time. Secondly, why there might actually be some truth to what Musk's saying. While a single transaction on the Bitcoin network can cost upwards of $15, Dogecoin's transaction charge, or gas fee, is still generally cheap when we compare the two, ranging around an average of $0.65 cents for every transaction. Now, that's some real value for your money. This change coincidentally came around the same time Musk announced that Tesla will initially try accepting Dogecoin as payment for goods. He tweeted about the change to make it official, saying that Tesla will be making some products purchasable with Dogecoin just to see how it goes. Tesla sells certain merch, which includes clothing, a belt buckle, miniature versions of its cars, a quad bike for kids called the Cyberquad, and a whistle that's based on the eagerly anticipated Cybertruck. In response to the announcement, Dogecoin's value increased by a whopping 24% to $0.195. The CEO of Tesla's always been a strong advocate for Dogecoin, so the decision to integrate it with his company this way isn't all that surprising. This became really clear following a recent Twitter debate between Musk and Chang Peng Zhao, the CEO of Binance. On behalf of Dogecoin owners, the billionaire investor and space SpaceX creator voiced certain concerns about the recent Doge issue at cryptocurrency market Binance. Why was this issue that big of a deal? Well, that's because countless incorrect Dogecoin transactions were made as a result of the problem, and several users claimed that their accounts were frozen. What's going on with your Doge customers? Musk questioned Zhao. He concluded the argument with what we were all thinking, calling out the company for practices that seem really sketchy to just about anybody. In the meantime, Musk had also promoted Dogecoin over Ethereum, claiming that Doge may be used to increase everyone's access to decentralized finance. In order to provide services, DeFi Systems, a blockchain-based type of finance, doesn't particularly rely on financial middlemen like brokerages, exchanges, or any institutions. These services, simply put, enable users to maintain ownership of their Ethereum-based cryptocurrency assets. Next up, previous comments from the CEO that explain things a bit more. This wasn't the only time Musk had made the news for his comments about Doge either. He's talked before about how Bitcoin has a low transaction volume and a high transaction fee, but previously, he gave some more reasons for us to genuinely consider consider Dogecoin to be the better alternative. Musk had previously said that investors prefer to hang on to Bitcoin rather than sell it or utilize it, so it would barely even be used for transactions to begin with because of the need people feel to hoard the currency. Supporters of Bitcoin would admit to some extent that the asset's a way to store value, sure, but that it's so much more than just that. It's also a reliable peer-to-peer -peer financial system that can be used for transactions. These supporters even gave the example of El Salvador, which has made Bitcoin a legal tender. Musk definitely has a lot of faith when it comes to cryptocurrency but he doesn't think they'll replace traditional currency. As opposed to many in the cryptocurrency community, Musk made a public statement to clarify his stance, saying that he's not a major hater of fiat currency either, but in contrast to fiat currency, which tends to be devalued by whichever government it belongs to, there are different advantages to cryptocurrency, according to Musk. He went on to continue that, with the dilution of the money supply, it turns out to be a harmful tax on people, especially those who have cash reserves. However, financial professionals consider Bitcoin to be a speculative, dangerous, and volatile investment for anybody in their right mind to make. On that note, we'd have to go with the professionals and advise you to only invest money that you can afford to lose. After all, in today's market, crypto's one of the biggest gambles you could take. Other news. First off, combating fraud. Users of Twitter and Discord have fallen victim to fraudulent smart contracts linking their cryptocurrency wallets, resulting in the theft of their priceless NFTs and other decentralized digital tokens. Scams on social media are out of control in the NFT industry. In a somewhat desperate attempt to assist its customers in recognizing and avoiding such 
scams, the most widely used Ethereum wallet, MetaMask, has significantly overhauled its user interface. In one of their recent initiatives, MetaMask published a new update for the wallet called 10.18.0 that changed how the application shows a requested set approval for all permission. By providing such permission, the smart contract will easily be able to access and withdraw all NFTs and tokens stored in a wallet. The smart contract, if you're wondering what it is, is the software that powers these NFTs and decentralized applications. Because of this significant modification in their product, MetaMask now makes it quite plain to the ordinary user when a smart contract is requesting too many rights, which is a clear indication that something's wrong. Access to any funds held in the wallet is one of the most suspicious permissions a smart contract could actually request. This is a request that can be abused by these so-called wallet drainer scams in the market. Security company WalletGuard provided this information after spilling the beans on this widespread fraud on Twitter. The GitHub software development repository for MetaMask has received screenshots of a new prompt with a font size that is larger than the rest of the user interface. Additionally, it usually says, by granting permission, you are allowing the following account to access your funds. Knowing that some people would still naively consent to this is beyond surprising. Next up, the crypto winter hurts the working man. The blockchain and cryptocurrency company Immutable has let go a number of key personnel from Immutable Studios, the development team in charge of the NFT trading card game Gods Unchained. Unfortunately, at least 20 workers, or about 6% of the company's employment, were let go, according to websites like CNET. These types of layoffs are pretty typical among decentralized finance organizations, given the state of the industry. A spokesperson for Immutable said in a statement that the Gods Unchained team underwent a little restructure that would help them more effectively accomplish their goal of creating the upcoming generation of Web3 games. This is obviously just damage control, which is inevitable, especially when a company fires employees this way. We all know it's due to the NFT market's terrible performance, but we suppose it's at least some comfort that the company made this decision after carefully weighing its options. Lastly, is this crypto desperation? Some Australian currency buyers are lining up to try and purchase Bitcoin and other digital assets in the decentralized finance industry, despite the shocking market drop. The issue has gotten so out of hand that even local buyers are now 5 to 1 over sellers on several marketplaces. The price of Bitcoin, the biggest and most well-known cryptocurrency, dropped by a startling 50% during the crash at 1.2. Since we would want to sell off our own assets and have better access to cash even in this economy, we can't really fault them for investing. After all, the market's harsh, even outside the crypto sphere. Local buyers have nonetheless attempted to invest in cryptocurrencies at a reasonable discount. According to Caroline Bowler, the exchange's chief executive, there are now just five buyers for every seller on the local cryptocurrency exchange, BTC Markets Bitcoin Marketplaces. With that ratio, she feels rather confident that we can conclude that Bitcoin might actually still recover somehow. That's a wrap for this video. What's your take on the billionaire's claim that Dogecoin is better? Do you feel like there's any real possibility of using any crypto for transactions in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.